life. Seasons of trials, seasons of tribulation, seasons of resting, and seasons of blessings. In John 15, 1 through 11, it talks a lot about that. I'm just going to share this passage in closing as we wrap up. But just think about this as you're going through seasons of life. Just think about how important it is to, to correctly acknowledge what season you're going through and to see it through to see what God has on the other side of it. Because John chapter 15, 1 through 11 reads like this. It says, I am the true grapevine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch of mine that doesn't produce fruit, and he prunes the branches that do bear fruit, so they will produce even more. I think when you read this passage, you have to think about what this means for you in your life. You have already been pruned and purified by the message I have given you, Remain in me and I will remain in you. For a branch cannot produce fruit if it is severed from the vine. And you cannot be fruitful unless you remain in me. Yes, I am the vine and you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit. For apart from me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me is thrown away like a useless branch and withers Such branches are gathered into a pile to be burned. But if you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask for anything you want and it will be granted. When you produce much fruit, you are my true disciples. Remember last time that we met, I said that there are sometimes there are passages of scripture that if you read them forward, it tells you one thing. If you read them backwards, it tells you another. Just a little bit more insightful. This passage is one of those. If you read it, it says, when you produce much fruit, you are my true disciples. If you read it backwards, you can say this. If you are truly pursuing a life in which you are a disciple of Jesus Christ, you're going to produce much fruit. That's just an awesome promise. That's the beauty of God's word. It's, it's not... It's not guesses, it's not chances. It's a book of divine absolutes that are, that are orchestrated to ultimately bring us blessings so that we can bless others and in return bring glory and honor to the Father who sent his Son to die for us so we could ultimately be rejoined together in him for eternity. There's this awesome plan that's in place and you are part of it. It goes on, it says, This brings great glory to my Father. I have loved you even as the Father has loved me. Remain in my love, and when you obey my commandments, you remain in my love just as I obey my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you these things so that you will be filled with my joy. Yes, your joy will overflow. We got to remain in him, and if we're willing to remain in him, he's going to navigate us through the seasons of this life through his awesome umbrella. Here's some things that we must remain in, and you can just... Make notes of these and you can, this whole series is all about life application. It's all about weighing yourself up against where you're at as far as living your life according to God's blueprint. But here's some things that we must remain in him if we want to successfully navigate the seasons of life. We must remain in his word. We must remain in prayer. We must remain confident of his promises. We must remain faithful. Can I just... I, can I just hear someone say amen to we must remain faithful? There is so much to be said to being just remaining faithful to God. Just be faithful. Up seasons, down seasons, week to week, Sunday to Sunday, just remain faithful. Remain faithful to him as he navigates. We must remain obedient and we must remain in his love. He's given us this awesome umbrella to navigate the seasons of life successfully and great things are ahead.